Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy with mcfitmethod.com and this is your workout of the day. Now today's workout is a rep sequence or a rep scheme workout. We're gonna do reps of 18, 15, 12, nine, and six, but each round starts with that jump rope. As always, we're gonna do 40 double unders to that jump rope or 80 single jumps, and then we have the option, if you choose not to do the jump rope, to do another movement, which is chopping high knees. Then we're gonna move into dumbbell hand cleans, we're gonna do some box jumps, and we're gonna do some pull-ups. But like I said, it starts off with that jump rope, so I'm gonna head back here, I'm gonna grab my RX Smart Gear jump rope, and it begins with those double unders. Now, now, a double under is two rotations of the rope for every jump, and if you're able to do those, you choose to do that option, it's gonna be 40 of those today. So in this position, two rotations of the rope for every jump. Always maintaining proper form here, guys. Keeping those elbows in close to your sides. We don't want your arms trailing way out here, so keep them in tight. Rotating that rope just with your wrists, chest up on the balls of your feet, legs close together. Now you're gonna do 40 double unders. If you choose to do single unders, that's just one rotation of the rope. So we're gonna do 80 of those, so twice as many. Now, if you choose not to do the jump rope, you have another option of doing chopping high knees. So we're gonna bring those knees up. We're gonna do these pretty quickly. We're gonna do 40 of those. So you're gonna bring one up here and chop. We're really gonna be moving our elbows towards our knee and engaging that core, but these are fast guys. So it's one, chopping high knees, keeping that chest up, leaning back slightly, bringing those knees all the way up above hip level and bringing those elbows in close. You're gonna be engaging that core. You can do a total of 40 of those. So alternating 20 per side. Once you've completed the 40 double unders, the 80 single jumps, or the 40 chopping high knees, we're gonna move into dumbbell hang cleans. Now, prescribed weight for this is 50 pound dumbbells for men, or 35 for women, but as always, make sure you are scaling that weight appropriately for you. Now, on these dumbbell hang cleans, we're gonna hold them in a position where their palms are facing inwards. So from the hang position, we're gonna send those hips back. So we're gonna start really by generating a little bit of power by sending our hips back slightly, slight bending in those knees, and our toes should be point out slightly and our knees should be tracking out over our toes. So in this hang position, you're gonna generate a little bit of a pop with that power for that hang clean. So when you're in that position, you send that butt back, you're then gonna use the power of your quads, your hamstrings, your glute, to really thrust those hips forward and start the momentum of those dumbbells in a forward position. And then you're gonna shrug up at the top and then you're gonna slightly dip and get under them and load them up into a front rack position. Now we don't want those dumbbells getting way out in front of us. This isn't like a kettlebell swing. So it's kind of a straight movement to get them into this front rack position and then back down into a hang position. You're gonna do a total this first round of 18 reps of those. So grab these dumbbells in that hang position, send those bucks back, clean them up, hold them in this front rack position, and then back down. So hang them up and then down. You're gonna keep doing this for a total of 18 reps. Once you've completed 18, set those dumbbells down. We're moving on to the next movement, which is then going to be 18 box jumps. So we're on the first round here, we're doing 18 reps of all the movements. So 18 box jumps, got a box set up here. What we're gonna end up doing, standing about a foot distance away, maybe a little bit more, jumping up onto that box opening up the hips at the top, full extension, and then stepping back down. Jump all the way up, and then stepping back down. You have the option of jumping up, and then jumping back down, if you wanna speed it up a little bit, or just jump up, and then step back down. You can do a total of 18 of those box jumps. Then we're moving over to the pull-up bar, we're gonna do 18 pull-ups. If you have a pull-up bar, whether it's mounted to the wall, whether it's one of the ones that's in the door, great. If you are unable to do unassisted pull-ups, Good modification is to wrap a band around that bar, put one foot in that band, use that as a little bit of a leverage to then assist you in that pull-up position. But on these pull-ups, we're gonna do 18 of these. Might have to break them up into a few sets, maybe three sets of six, two sets of nine. You can then hit palms facing forward. You're gonna jump up on that bar, chin up over the bar, all the way down. You can do a total of 18 of these pull-ups. Once you've completed 18 of those pull-ups, that completes the rep, scene, rep sequence of 18 of those. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the next round with that 40 double unders, 80 single jumps, or the chopping high knees. But then we're gonna repeat all those movements, but we're cutting the rep scheme down this round to 15. So you're gonna grab these dumbbells, you're gonna do a set of 15 hang cleans, 15 box jumps, 15 pull-ups. Back to the jump rope again for another set of those 40, 80, or the chopping high knees. Then we're gonna pick up the dumbbells again, but this time 
Rep scheme goes down, 12 of those, 12 box jumps, 12 pull-ups. And this continues on all the way until you've completed reps of nine of each of those movements and then also reps of six of those movements. So that is your McFit 365 workout of the day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Good luck, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the next workout.